Before this video starts, I just want to let you guys know that my Patreon is linked down below in the description if you guys want to support me. For those of you who choose to support me, you guys can receive a certain amount of Discord.js coding files that I show within the series here that I code live within the Discord server each month. Your support is much appreciated, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the video. Hey, what is going on guys and girls? My name is Fusion Tear here. We're back at the end of another video and in today's video is a little bit different here what we do on the channel, but I've been making some NPM packages recently in my Discord server and putting them out for you guys to use and in some videos here on the channel. So I thought I'd go over a video how to make an NPM package for those of you guys who are actually curious on how to make an NPM package for yourself. Now the package I'm making this video isn't going to do anything specific. It's going to be very basic, but it's just going to go over the basics of how to make a package on your own and get it out there and publish it. So with all that said and all that out of the way, we can go ahead and hop into this video. All links shown in this video are going to be down in the description below. Now the first thing you're going to need is an account on npmjs.com. It's pretty obvious if you're making an npm package, you're going to need an account. So you guys want to go over here and sign up for free or sign in if you already have an account. The next thing you're going to need for developing an npm package is Node.js. So you guys can go ahead and install this. I have the LTS, which is just recommended for most users. You guys can go ahead and install that. The last thing you're going to need is some form of IDE. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. There's Atom and there's a ton more out there you guys can go ahead and use. I just prefer Visual Studio Code and that's what I'm going to be using here in this video. So once you've went ahead and made an account on npmjs.com and you guys have installed all those applications, we're going to go ahead and make a new folder here in our desktop. I have a folder just for my npm packages. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder in here and I'm just going to call this a plus one. Uh, hopefully there's no npm package called plus one so i'm gonna go double check so in my case there is a package called plus one so i'm gonna go ahead and call this fusion dash plus one since there isn't a package called that on npm now on npm if somebody's taken a package name already you have to change your package name to something unique and different or else it'll give you an error saying you know it's similar to something that's already existing on the platform so we're gonna go ahead inside this folder and we're gonna just click up here in this URL bar. And we're gonna go CMD and this should open command prompt right here. We're gonna do code space dot to open this up in Visual Studio Code. Over in Visual Studio Code, we're gonna go to terminal, new terminal, and we're gonna run npm init. What npm init's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and initialize our npm package itself. So our package name is what we want to run when we do npm install. So it's gonna be fusion dash plus one. So we can go ahead and hit enter. Uh, version is one description. Uh, a simple adding package and then the entry we're just going to leave it as index.js we don't need a test command git repository i'm going to go ahead and create one with you guys right now if you guys want to go ahead and post it to github now link down below you guys are going to go to github.com you guys are obviously going to need an account if you want to post to github so you guys want to go ahead and create one for that you guys want to go ahead to your page on github.com and make a new repository you guys can name this whatever you want i'm just going to put it as the package name so it's fusion dash plus one and then i'm just going to put it as the same description so in our case it's a simple adding package and what we do is we can make it public or private for now while we develop it i'm just going to make it private and i'm just going to click create repository we don't have to make a readme or anything at the moment we can go ahead and do that ourselves. Link down below in the description is this readme generator. It's really easy to use. You just go ahead and input what you guys want here to make an easy readme file for you guys GitHub. So in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and say my package name, which is fusion dash uh, plus one. And then I'm just gonna say introduction uh, uh, and easy to use adding a package. You guys can go on and on here if you guys want. Installation is down right here, and we're just gonna say npm i, uh, npm i, and then we can go ahead and say our package name fusion, whoops, fusion dash plus one. And then we can go ahead and fetch the markdown file right here. Go ahead and copy all of this. We can go ahead and paste this. This is our markdown file we made here in the browser. Go up to file and then save and close out of this now and go ahead and attach our github repository that we just made we can get that by on the screen just copying this github repository link right here there's some instructions right here to go ahead and add it and commit instantly but we're going to go ahead and add our own things and then commit afterwards so we can go ahead and paste our repository right in here keywords these are like the tags you guys want on npm in this case i'm just going to do fusion um adding Two different keywords the author you guys can put your name here fusion terror it's okay yes blah blah blah, blah. clear now you guys want to go ahead and log in with your npm account here too so you're gonna do npm login and then it's gonna go ahead and ask your username on npm so mine's fusion terror 
it's then gonna ask for your password. Once you paste your password in here, type in your password, it's not actually gonna show up here. It's actually blocked out by the terminal itself. You're just gonna hit enter and then type in your email that is attached to your NPM page. This is actually public on your NPM page. Now that my email is typed in here, I'm gonna hit enter and it's gonna go ahead and log me into my NPM right here. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this once again. Now we can go ahead and get started with our package. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and make a new file called index.js that we wanted to go over and um, actually start making our code in. So we can do module.exports is gonna be equal to, and then we can just open this up right here. And then this is where we can actually go ahead and pass in our functions here. So we can go ahead and say add one is our function right here. And this is going to be uh, async. And then we can open this up if we want to pass in some parameters. And then we can go ahead and open this up right here. So in this instance, we're going to go ahead and take in a number. And then in, we're going to return a number plus one. So plus equals one. So the number itself plus equals one. So it's if this was one, this could be equal to two. It's just basically adding one to it. It's not really that useful. Now what we can do is go ahead and go up to file, go to save. We can close out of this file right now because that's basically our entire package. You guys would put whatever you guys want in here for your package. If you had dependencies, you guys would go ahead and install them here. And then in your package.json, it would show some dependencies right here. So let's say I wanted to use chalk as a dependency, MPMI uh, chalk. I would go ahead and install that and then it would show up here as a dependency. And then now in my index.js, I can go ahead and then require chalk. So const chalk equals require. And then we can open this up, whoops, right in here. And then we can do chalk. If you guys aren't familiar with this package, it's just a simple package for you guys to go ahead and put colors in your terminal and whatnot. So then we can just go ahead and do uh, console.log. And we can say chalk.green. We can say a string here, we can just do number. What this is gonna do is then it's just gonna log at that number and then actually we can do plus equals uh, one just to get that new number in our thing right there. So this is a very simple package. We're just gonna go file save all. And there's some things we can go over here in our package.json as well. So if you want to import specifically um, to the npm your index.js and your readme file what you can do here is go underneath your main or underneath your description wherever you guys really want i don't think there's a specific thing i'm just keeping it in alphabetical order we go to files and then we do index.js right here and then we can go ahead underneath here and then pass in our readme.md which is our markdown file and then you guys would pass in any other files you want to so in this case as well we're going to go ahead and pass in one more thing which is our engines and this engine is going to be node whoops i have to go node like this and then this is going to be less than or equal to 7.8.0 and we're good to go here this is just basically saying you need at least this version to go ahead and run this package and then run npm link right here and then just go ahead and rerun npm link and then that fusion package once again we can go ahead now in our package.json and see down here that our fusion dash plus one is now required in here so we can go ahead and test it if we were to add a new folder and just call it test up here and we're to have some form of code so let's say uh, test.js and inside here we were to go ahead and do something along the lines of const and then we can go ahead and require our package plus one equals require and then we can go ahead and require this package right here fusion dash plus one and basically what our package does once again is we pass in a number and it just returns a number so what we're going to do is go ahead and do plus one um, dot and then i believe the function is called yeah add one right here and we're just going to pass in the number five right here and we're just going to go ahead and see what it logs to our console. So we can go to file, save all. Before this video continues, I wanna let you guys know that there's 87% of you guys watching these videos that aren't subscribed, and it would mean a lot to me if you guys could take two seconds of your time to hit subscribe with post notifications and drop a like on the video. Your support is much appreciated. So thank you guys so much for watching, and let's continue the video. And in our terminal here, we can do node, 
and then we can do test whoops test slash test.js and it's going to go ahead and log six here because our function went ahead and added one to it. So now that we know our package actually works, we're just going to do npm unlink and then fusion dash plus one. This is going to go ahead and unlink it from it here. So it's not going to show up in our dependencies anymore. I'm just going to kill this for now because we can go ahead and close these and delete this folder completely. We don't need this anymore. We just want to have our actual npm package right in here. So with that said, now we can go up and make a new terminal and then we can do git add since we're adding to our git repository and we go ahead and add our index.js file and I figure out we actually have to do git init first and this is going to go ahead and actually initialize this folder to be a git repository. Now that it's initialized, then we can go ahead and do git add and then go ahead and add our index.js and then we can go ahead and do git add and our add our readme. We can also go ahead and do git add. Whoops, we didn't do add that time. Uh, readme. And then we can also add our package.json lock in package.json. Uh, we don't have to essentially, but it's good to add anyways to GitHub. And then we can go ahead and add our package.locker, sorry, dash lock.json. Now that all these are added, we can actually go ahead and do a git dash and I'll actually show you guys first the instructions are posted on github as I mentioned prior if you were to go back to this page you guys can see these instructions here you can do git commit dash m and do the commit name which will show up on github then you can commit to the branch and then to the origin and then you just have to push it from there on in so what we can do is go ahead and copy this commit line paste it in here we can go ahead and keep it as first commit I'm just gonna go ahead and change this to um, first publish now that it is went ahead and committed that to the repository, we can go ahead and go to the next few instructions. So the next one is the git branch dash m main. We're gonna go ahead and paste this in here and then we're gonna go ahead and copy that next one. Paste that in here and it's gonna have your repository right here. You're gonna wanna go ahead and hit enter right here. It's gonna go ahead and then allow you to type again. You guys wanna put in git push dash u origin main. It's gonna go ahead and then push it to the branch on GitHub. And it's gonna go ahead and you guys will see it'll finish here and you guys can now go ahead and check on github if we were to come back to this package and then refresh our page it's now going to have this markdown file that we created here with our installation and whatnot you guys can see our index.js is right here as well for our package so now to finally go ahead and put it onto npm we can do npm publish hit enter here and this is going to go ahead and publish our package to npm and it's going to take a few seconds here and then it's going to say plus and then your package name with the version and then it's going to go ahead and finish. If you go back over to npm here and we sign in, if you go over to your account and then over to your packages, you guys should now see your new packages right here. You guys can now see on the npm page that you can go ahead and download your package using npm ifusion plus one or whatever your package name is here. Here's our simple little thing we made here on the markdown generator. And just to go ahead and make sure our package is able to be installed, I'm just going to make a new folder here. I'm just going to call it this random thing. Open this up and then I'm just going to open this up in um, Visual Studio Code by doing code space dot once again and getting this in here. We're going to open this index.js and then we can go ahead and say uh, we have to do an npm init. Once that's done, we can go ahead and then say uh, npm i and then our packaging, which was fusion dash plus one. And go ahead and hit enter it's going to go ahead and install our package and we can see then in our package.json it now says fusion dash plus one and actually has a version here which is just 1.0.0 in our thing here now we can do is const plus one is equal to require you can open this up and do plus one or fusion dash plus one sorry or whatever your package name is once again and then we can do plus one dot add one open this up and we can put in a number i'm just going to put in the number 10 Go up to file, save all, and then in our terminal, if you don't already have one open, if you can go up to terminal in the new terminal, I'm just gonna clear this here and then I'm gonna go ahead and run node index, whoops, index.js, and then it's gonna go ahead and do our function, which is adding one to it, which would give us 11 right here. If you guys enjoyed this video on how to make an NPM package from scratch, attach to the GitHub and publish it to NPM, all in like 10 minutes or so. Smack the like button on this video. Hit subscribe with post notifications so you guys never miss an upload in the series. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.